As the sun rose over the Amazon, so did we, to see for ourselves what's at stake in this battle to save the most biodiverse sanctuary on the planet. A battle witnessed every day by police pilot Rafael Montenegro. Feel angry for sad. We must fight for this. It's our land. I say sanctuary, that's what it was until a few decades ago. Now, dotted everywhere, like blemishes on nature's masterpiece, the work of reckless farmers and illegal loggers bent on exploiting this wet and wondrous place. If you go deeper and deeper and deeper, you see a lot of uh, bigger, bigger, bigger areas like that. To combat this, we need a, a political government to, to engage of the better conditions to work. It's environmental vandalism where the vandals have the blessing of Bolsonaro, a president who cares little for the planet, a custodian without a conscience. So worried are scientists about what is happening down here below us that they fear that if it continues in the way it is, that within a few generations the Amazon rainforest could disappear to be replaced by some vast, dry savanna land. As more trees are felled, and tens of billions already have been, it means less rainfall, higher temperatures, more drought. And then consider this stunning fact. The rainforest below us is one enormous carbon store, holding the equivalent of almost 12 years of global emissions at current rates. So much of it is criminal, yeah? I mean, it's criminals down doing a lot of this stuff. The most part of the, 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 floor, the forest here is a criminal, it's illegal. It's not legal, so, but we can't give up. We must fight every day. And as we headed back, another reason why. This is pollution, this is pollution, this is pollution. One last grim snapshot of what man is doing to one of the most beautiful and important places on Earth. Mark Austin, Sky News, over the Amazon.